So what is going on guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down why you should not be investing in GameStop, AMC, and all these companies that are extremely hyped up right now in the stock market. Before you invest in these companies, please watch this video. It can be saving you thousands of dollars and I don't want you to lose money investing in the stock market. So guys, before we get started, if we have not yet subscribed to the channel as well as if you find this video valuable, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. It goes a long way. So over the past few weeks, it has been incredible what has happened in the stock stock market you might have probably heard of the Wall Street bets what is happening on the stock market and more importantly the hype around GME AMC and also Bed Bath and beyond you might be thinking like a lot of people should I invest in them right now there's a lot of opportunity to make money there's a lot of hype around it my grandma my friends are talking about it should I get it and start investing in the companies now this is the biggest mistake that we want to make as investors following the hype can leave us down a path of losing a lot of money so in this video I wanted to tune on here real quick to share with you guys why you don't want to be investing in GameStop AMC right now and more importantly how you could be losing thousands of dollars with these bets you are taking on bets when you're investing in the stock market but more importantly when you're trying to find the hype in these companies you are going to be hurting yourself in the future before we get started I just want to remind you guys that one of the greatest lessons that we all can learn from investing in the stock market or investing in anything is to understand what we are investing in the biggest problem with what is happening on Wall Street these reddit bets and all this stuff that is happening right now in the current um, investing world is that people are taking bets on things that they don't understand and this can cost you a lot of money the truth is it is so easy for anyone to get involved in the stock market anybody can go on Robinhood right now purchase sell stocks but the truth is if you do not know what you're investing in you're only setting yourself up for failure so make sure you can understand get educated and come up with a strategy of investing before you start spending your money the worst thing that could happen is you invest in these companies lose a lot of money and never want to invest in the stock market again because the stock market is a great vehicle for a lot of us to invest in so don't just put all your marbles in one basket lose it all and never go back to investing in the stock market so the first reason i am not investing in amc gme or bed bath is because the problem is these companies are going to lose their steam they're going to run out of the hype and it's all going to eventually crash this crash is almost inevitable a lot of of really popular investors and really credible sources are all betting on this company crashing in the next few weeks we just don't know what's happening and more importantly there's a lot of emotion wrapped up in these companies people are trying to prove their points as well as hold on to their losses which is just a combination of things that are not going to turn over well it is just a matter of time until this company drops and right now they are all over evaluated which means I am not getting in and I don't think you should get in as well because you have the risk to lose a lot of money and people think that the share prices are going to continue to go up we're gonna see continual growth and we're gonna make money investing in these companies but the truth is there's a lot of things in the air right now that is causing a lot of uncertainty which means a lot of people are gonna start selling off which is gonna drive the share price down and you could be losing money so if you happen to bet on these companies and you are seeing great returns right now on your investments I'd say do not be greedy cash out as soon as you can don't lose your money because the crash is soon to come and Jordan Belfort explained why there's gonna be a recent crash on these stocks and more importantly he summarized this with a theory known as the old lock theory and this theory basically means people that you know your friends your family and people that should not be knowing about certain stocks in the stock market once the average Joe becomes aware of the hype it is too late to actually start investing in these companies once normal people are getting insight on what to invest in how to start making money on companies it's usually too late and it's time to get out for you and I and secondly is to understand that these companies are extremely overvalued their share price does not show the relevance in the market place as well as their strength as a company more importantly when you think of GameStop when you think of Bed Bath and when you think of AMC do you think of these as strong companies that you want to invest in for the future and the answer is probably no and a recent evaluation shows that GameStop is valued at 15 times more than it's actually worth right now in the stock market it just doesn't make sense to invest in these companies yes I know you might think that they're great companies because they have a high share price this does not reflect longevity in the future as well as continual growth in their share price secondly is to understand that with this increase this inflation in their price you're gonna be experiencing really high volatility in the next few weeks people are going to continue to buy people are going to continue to sell and this is not a very safe investment for the future this high volatility can create a lot of risk when you're investing in these companies and more importantly you can lose a lot of money if you choose to sell at the wrong time or buy at the wrong time there's a lot of risk involved in these unstable companies and it's just really being driven by human emotions and human 
expectations and when you're betting on humans the odds are you are not going to win this bet it's a matter of communication that is driving up the price of these companies which eventually is going to be going through a correction and experiencing high volatility and the last thing that i want to stress is people are investing in these companies for the wrong reasons not only do they want to make money investing or trying to time the market um, and trying to take advantage of the short sellers in the market but gamestop should never be up over 1000 percent in the stock market right now there are great companies out there that are performing a lot better than gamestop but the truth is people are investing for the quick buck and anytime you're trying to invest for the wrong reasons anytime you're investing to make money there's a lot of risk and there's a lot of things that we want to consider when we are investing in these companies there are people that are betting thousands and millions of dollars on these companies and they're willing to lose this money but for like a simple investor like you and i we are not able to kind of take their risk we are not able to move the market like they are and it takes a matter of a few people um a few hedge funds to just continue to influence the market and as we've seen with the robin hood scandal there's a lot of things that are going into this which means that you just never know if you're going to actually get the money back that you invested as well as you can instantly lose a lot of money in a matter of seconds so moving forward as the market continues to shift more wall street bets are probably going to be talked about in the future as well as I am learning as much as I can from this increase and what is happening in the market right now and what I would recommend for all of us right now is to not only cut your losses right now if it's possible but also start riding on the next wave right now I just believe it is too late to invest in these companies you have very high risk with a lack of reward which is very scary as an investor um, so what I would do and what I personally plan on doing is to take this as a learning experience learn exactly what happened and more importantly subscribe to the reddit page because because I want to learn what the next bet is now for me I'm using all the stuff that I learned from this current you know gamble and what is happening on Wall Street bets and I want to use this as data for the next opportunity and what I would say is to start looking for the next maybe dogecoin or what's gonna happen or who's gonna be the next GME it's just a matter of time until this happens again and when it does happen again use this as a lesson use this as an experience to take an early investment in these positions or in the companies that are continuing to going to be influenced by human communication in the next two to three months or maybe two to three years whenever it happens again go ahead and ride that wave but right now i'm a firm believer and the statistics and investors are telling me that the ride is over it is just a matter of time for the crash to happen. It is just a matter of time for people to start selling their positions. Hedge funds have a lot riding on what is happening right now in the market. Um, and people are going to continue to hopefully cut their losses as well as get out of this stock as soon as possible because they just feel like the wave is over and they just want to cash out and make the money. So guys, I hope this gives you some insight on what is happening right now in the market as well as what's going to happen in the future and why you should not maybe invest in these companies that are overhyped, they're overvalued, and more importantly, being invested in for the wrong reason so if you have any questions comments or concerns or if you want some more clarity feel free to hit me up in my comment section below DM me on Instagram or even follow me on TikTok. we have a lot of content out there so guys thank you so much for tuning in if there's anything that I can do for you in the near future please let me know and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week um, continue to push continue to grow and I'll see you guys in the next video love you peace out